Last month, a whistleblower brought to light the existence in the FBI of a report in FD 1023 in which the informant alleges that President Biden and his family members engaged in a $5 million bribery scheme during his time as vice president. Deputy Director Abadi, is it true that the FBI has a report making those allegations? Uh, I'm not going to comment on that, Senator. And why is that? I'm just not going to comment on uh, information we've received, investigations. Do you owe an matters. obligation to the American people to be candid about evidence of corruption by the President of the United States? This is uh, an area that I'm not going to get into with you, Senator. Well, I understand you don't want to, and that's why people are mad at the FBI, because you're stonewalling and covering up serious allegations of evidence of corruption from the president. Yesterday, Senator Chuck Grassley stood on the Senate floor and alleged that there are 17 recordings of this informant from Burisma, Ukrainian natural gas company, 15 of them are recordings, voice recordings of him talking to Hunter Biden. Two of them are voice recordings of him talking to Joe Biden. Deputy Director Abate, does the FBI have 17 voice recordings laying out evidence of a bribery scheme? Senator, I'd add all, I would add also that uh, we've worked with the House Oversight Committee. Yeah, this is the Senate. The We're the other side of the Capitol. This is the Senate. Do you have those 17 recordings? I'm not going to comment on any investigative matters, Senator. See, that's the problem. The FBI, and I've had this conversation with Chris Ray too, this is why you are damaging the institution. The American people have a right to know whether there is serious, credible evidence that the President of the United States took a $5 million bribe. And by the way, if it's false, Chairman Durbin just rolled his eyes. If Chairman Durbin were interested in the rule of law, we would have a hearing on these allegations. But of course, the Democrats don't want a hearing on the, these allegations. And to be clear, if the allegations are false, you know who could disprove them? Joe Biden. He could call for this to be released publicly. But the FBI is stonewalling. I want to talk about Senator Grassley's information from yesterday. Because when the FBI produced the document that you referred to earlier, uh, relating to the Biden bribery allegations, and you gave that to House Oversight, you all redacted any reference to the fact that the foreign national who allegedly bribed Joe and Hunter Biden had those 17 audio voice recordings. So first of all, why did you redact that part of the information? Senator, first, um, as I said before, your assertion, or anyone who makes the assertion that the FBI is politicized, I reject it wholeheartedly. It's wrong, and it is not true. The work we do, okay, Mr. And the people Abate, I see in the let FBI. Let me ask you this: You said in your response to Senator Cruz that you and the FBI do your job to the best of your ability. So why don't you tell me what your job is? Is it to defend and shield Joe Biden, or is your job to protect this country and the Constitution of the United States? Which is it? Why did you decide to conceal the information in that revelation to the House Oversight Committee? Why did you redact all of that re uh, pertaining to the phone calls? We have exceptional people Within the, in You're the not FBI, answering the, the question. Best. Why did you redact that information? And they work relentlessly every day to keep this you country safe and to protect people. You chose not to reveal that the Period. calls were there, and Senator Grassley found it out anyway. Is that accurate? With regard to the you chose document, to redact, you chose to redact it. Yes or no? We often redact documents to protect so sources and methods. So you chose to redact the the fact that there are 17 voice recordings, two of those with the now president, you chose to redact that and not to give that to House Oversight. I have Is no idea accurate? if there are voice recordings or not. What I will tell you with respect to the you document, no the document was redacted to protect the source, as everyone knows. Well, then and this is a question of life my and death, time potentially. has expired, but uh, I think it would be helpful if when you came before us, if you were willing to answer the questions, it would help to remove the perception that the American people have 
because this is what they see. They see you do it every day. And that is politicizing the FBI and using it against the American people who don't happen to be named Biden, Clinton, or one of the elites. Thank you. So, okay, so now we've confirmed that the document exists. That's progress because the FBI director initially denied that it exists. Why did he do that? We, we have already and previously acknowledged the existence of the documents. Yeah, now. after you first denied it. Now, when a member of this committee read it, Right, the FBI director, let's just get the record straight. The FBI director initially said, it doesn't exist. Then Senator Grassley said, I've read it. Then he said, oh, okay, well, gotcha. I guess it does exist. Now you're going back and forth with members of this committee, what's in it. Why don't you just release it? Is it classified? The document is not classified. Okay, will you commit to releasing it? Senator, we'll take that back and we will work with you in this committee uh, how about just a yes or no? Will you commit to releasing this unclassified document that alleges that the president of the United States, the president of the United States, has taken $5 million or more in bribes from a foreign nation? The document has already been released pursuant to a subpoena to the House Oversight Committee. Has it, it been will, released to this committee? We will work with this committee within the parameters that are established Will you release the document to the public? It's unclassified. Don't you think the American people have a right to see it? Uh, 